All right, Nerdlaws Live coming to you from Southern California here. Happy, uh, oh, happy day. Happy first day of November. Great time to be live Thursday, by the way. 11 one 2018 3.33 in the afternoon. That's a God time right there, yeah. All right, want to do a quick video on Trump says he will shoot the caravan if they throw rocks. Is that what they're saying? Well, here's CNN. Here's Fox. Uh, here's The Guardian. Trump says he will restrict asylum. For the migrants, uh, claims troops will shoot at rock throwers. All right. Here's one that was from CNN. Here's from Fox. President Trump announces plan to limit uh, asylum seekers. Says troops will shoot at rock throwers. Hello. Again, uh, nobody's coming in. Trump prepares to send troops to border to stop migrant caravan. All right. Did a video yesterday. Uh, called Mexico Migrant Caravan uh, is at about 14,000, anywhere from five to 14,000 right now. Uh, there may be millions coming in the near future. Take a look at my video I did on YouTube yesterday. DarylLawson.com is my website. The links are there. I did one the day before that. Trump to set up immigration uh, tent cities or concentration camps. Ooh, thousands of people have watched those videos that I did on my YouTube channel. Uh, Help yourself. Uh, but this is, I think this is the top story, or one of the top stories at the tippy top. And I like to read here from Fox. Take a look at this. Now listen, it's time to pray. It's not going to be a long video here. It's just a, it's just a, a call to, for people to pray. Pray that all goes well. Because I think, that, like I said yesterday, this is the tip of the iceberg. And I would hate to see uh, people being massacred either way at the border. I don't want to see uh, U.S. troops hurt, and I don't want to see immigrants uh, killed uh, unless they are armed with guns or bombs or some of the reports and rumors are saying that. So, you know, the Bible does say, I was looking here at Romans chapter 13 in the Bible, the Bible, this is Jesus' book. This is the Holy Spirit, God the Father's book. Romans chapter 13, verse 4, for he, the government official, is the minister of God or for God. To you for good. But if you do that which is evil, be afraid. For he, the government official, does not bear the sword in vain. That's called the gun now, right? For he bears not the sword in vain. He carries the sword. He carries the bullets. He carries the guns, etc., etc. For he is the minister of God. This is talking about the true good politician or president, yeah. A revenger to execute wrath upon him that does evil. So if there, if there are people that are doing crazy things coming from the caravan, the Bible says that Trump can use lethal force against them. That's what the sword is for, to execute wrath. The sword, the gun, all right, the bullets. Trump's got a great heart. I'm glad he's president. Uh, I think the, the caravan is a deep state uh, idea. But nevertheless, people are pawns. And there is biblical uh, uh, backing for a lethal force at the border, but I would hate to see it. I would hate to see lethal force because you have people that are subject to mistakes in the troops. They don't know what's going on in, 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 a lot of times in, in the fog of war. I would hate to see people being shot and killed uh, by mistake. Or even friendly fire, troops hitting troops. Who knows what would happen if there's a total chaos type scenario? That's why we have to pray. Uh, speaking about Romans thirteen four, how about Romans chapter twelve, the, the chapter before? It says, "If it if it's possible, as much as lies within you, live peaceably with all men." It's not always uh, possible because of other people's actions. Yeah. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourself, but rather give place to wrath. I want to put these scriptures here at the end of this video. Vengeance is mine, I'll repay, says the Lord. Therefore, if your enemy's hungry, feed him. If he's thirsty, give him drink. If doing so, you shall heap coals of fire on his head. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. Now, I think Trump's trying to do that. But don't forget, Romans chapter 12 and Romans 13 are connected. <laughs> lethal forth, force, le le lethal force, and trying to live at peace. But if that's not possible, you got to bring out the, yeah, the force, yeah. So don't forget uh, all these verses are connected, right? <clears throat> but we should pray ahead of time, and I'm sure you are, 
just a reminder, Romans 8, 27, he that searches the hearts knows what is the mind of the Holy Spirit because he makes intercession for the Christians according to the will of God. Pray by the Holy Spirit concerning this uh, or the upcoming actions that Trump has to take or should take. Don't forget James 5, 16, the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous person, born again, spirit filled person avails much, does much good. All right, let me get to this one from Fox News. <clears throat> President Trump announces plan to limit asylum seekers, says troops will shoot at rock throwers. Okay. President Trump, and this is today, said today, Thursday, he announced plans to change U.S. asylum rules as he seeks to use a group of Central American immigrants, says migrants, heading for the U.S. border as part of his closing argument to voters ahead of the midterm, which is next Tuesday. He also suggested that U.S. troops... Uh, that U.S. troops at the U.S.-Mexico border could fire on someone in the caravan if the person throws rocks or stones at them. Now, this is a recipe for disaster if you don't handle it right. All right? I'm just saying that's why we're here. That's why you're here. That's why we're preparing. What does he say? That's not, that's not all, you know, all in this article. It says, ask if he envisions U.S. troops firing upon anyone in the group of migrants. Trump told reporters at the White House, I hope not. I hope not. He said it twice. But it's the military. And he's got a good heart. He says, I hope there won't be that, Trump said. But that anybody throwing rocks or stones, or I'm going to add here worse. I've heard rumors and uh, reports through uh, this, this last several days of maybe guns or bombs in the, in the, in the, in the caravan coming up from Honduras to Mexico. I think it's about a month away-ish, but still. No time like the president to pray. No time like the president to pray and the president. Yeah, okay. Trump said that anybody throwing rocks or stones will be considered to be using a firearm. Well, David killed Goliath with a rock, so I guess, yeah. Because there's not much difference when you get hit in the face with a rock. Ooh, true. Now, maybe you can use water cannons. Is that possible? What about bean bags? I don't know. It's also non-lethal bullets, right? Plastic bullets. You ever heard of that? Yeah. Anyways, uh, pray. That's what our job is to, right? Yeah. And to help other people to be informed. Trump did not release details on the asylum proposal or how it would be implemented. According to the White House aide, the administration will seek to require migrants to request asylum at legal points of entry and prevent them from claiming asylum if they are caught crossing the border illegally. The president said he would sign an immigration-related executive order next week, but was not specific to what it would address. I mean, it's going to probably be uh, detailed. And it's, uh, I think it's a very delicate constitutional uh, action. The Trump administration has been looking at ways to limit the number of asylum seekers. The Immigration National Nationality Act, I mean, uh, states that anyone who arrives in the U.S., whether or not at a designated port of arrival, may apply for asylum if he or she has a well-founded fear of persecution on account of race, religion, nationality, membership in a particular social group or political opinion. Early this year, uh, session said, uh, Attorney General, that the victims of gang and domestic violence no longer qualify for asylum. Uh, seen a report earlier this week that the administration is also considering the plan to limit the number of migrants able to enter at legal ports of entry by metering. Uh, essentially creating a wait list to allow people to enter uh, only if the Department of Homeland Security has the capacity to process them and detain them at one of their facilities, right? I mean, you should know who they are. Duh. Why can't you have a birth certificate? Why can't you have a passport? Hello? In the past, the practice of metering has resulted in individuals deciding not to endure a lengthy wait to try to get into the country legally and instead cross illegally. Should some of this group of migrants do the latter, they could face a tougher and higher standard for seeking asylum under the administration's plan. White House aides has considered having Trump deliver an immigration speech earlier in the week, but the Pittsburgh signal massacre on Saturday delayed those plans. Well, Trump talked today about that anyways, uh, as I was mentioning here. And uh, what really uh, hit me, which pun intended, uh, Trump says that troops will shoot at rock throwers. So, rock throwers, what's a rock? Who knows what's a rock? What, do they have a rock in their hand? Are they pretending? Is it a, is it a piece of this, that, and the other? Is it a stick? You know, uh, is it just rocks? Uh, you know, who knows? When you have 
14,000, 5, 10, 15,000 people, maybe more, because other groups are apparently joining the group. Uh, tw maybe 20,000, maybe more, who knows? And how do you know they're going to all come in order? They could all be pushing in one entry. They could all be dispersed around. Who knows what's going to happen? Uh, the deep state, the new world order. I, I, I'd have to say a lot of the Democrats, if not all the Democrats, and maybe even some Republicans, would like to see Trump hurt uh, by something that would happen at the border. His presidency. Him being uh, held accountable for, for some kind of big mistake that happens at the border. we got to pray that that doesn't happen. we got to pray that things go uh, smoothly. That the Lord takes care of this. And any way the Lord sees fit to deal with this, that would happen. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Yeah. So I'm saying we got to pray. Uh, the, the Bible says we do have, uh, or I'll say we, the president has the right to use force. Uh, the army, the military, uh, lethal force, legal and lethal force against his enemies. Uh, in Romans 13, but it also says try to settle it in peace before it comes to that Romans 12 and Romans 13. Yeah, so uh, this is something that the Holy Spirit uh, is uh, perfectly able to figure out and help. But we have to pray, ask and you shall receive. Let's pray. Father, we pray for this whole situation now and, and from now on. We ask that you continue to intervene and whatever is uh, planned for the future, you know, whatever... Uh, you want to happen, let it happen. We pray for Trump's presidency. Let, let it, long live the king. <laughs> long live his presidency, Lord. Not only in this uh, term, but even the next one. Let, let him live long and prosper. Let him uh, be endued with wisdom from on high like you gave Solomon. And David. And Moses. Yeah. And Joshua. Etc. Etc. As you gave Paul. Give the, the mind of Christ the wisdom of God to Trump, to make the right decisions. Lord. Thank you. Let, him ha let, him, let his heart be after you, and I think it is. Let it continually be after you. Let, he have, let, let him have the mind of Christ. Let him do what you want him to do. Turn his heart in the way you want it to go. Thank you, Father. And let his enemies be scattered. In Jesus' name, by your spirit, Father. Amen. All right, dear Lost Lives, I'm out of here. I wanted to do a quick video and say, listen, keep an eye on this. I've been doing videos on this in different ways and different topics, but the same topic. Uh, I mean, different uh, angles on the same topic the last couple of days. And I thought, wow, this is important. Uh, this is something that I've never seen before, really, uh, on the U.S. border. As far as I can remember, Trump says he will allow the military to shoot at rock throw. Shoot what? I don't know. He's not, you know, it's not specific. But I thought I'd do a quick video here, a video and give scriptures. We can think about what the Bible says and we don't listen to what Don Lemon says from CNN. Is that his name? Or Blitzer. We can listen to what the Bible says, all right? We have a biblical understanding of what the Bible says so we're not swayed by every wind of uh, mainstream media and fake news that comes by. All right, Daryl Lawson Live signing up. I'm out of here. Go to my website, DarylLawson.com. has all my information I said today. I'll put the links up here uh, that I have. I mean the articles and the scriptures. And on my website, I have the links on all my other videos. I have over 3,000 videos to help you go forward and not backwards. Listen, Jesus Christ, the Messiah, is coming back really, really soon. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, watch my videos, DarylLawson.com. I have thousands of videos on this. Or just type in any engine search, web, web search, Daryl Lawson YouTube video, and t type in a subject. It'll pop up uh, anywhere on the web. It'll pop up. I have... Uh, Thousands of videos on Facebook, uh, Facebook saved and have thousands of videos on YouTube saved. Different videos. All on subjects to help people. Yeah, fight the beast. Fight evil. Fight uh, depression. Fight the things that are attacking people and win. I don't care who you are and where you live. All right? Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And Jesus doesn't have any favorites. He loves the whole world. He's got the whole... There, I'll stop that. <laughs> well, he does. <laughs> In his hand. Yeah, see, people still go to heaven. It's people still go to hell. It's their own choice. you got to wake up and smell the Bible. Yeah, so get born again, get spirit-filled. What does that mean? Jesus washed my sins away. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. That's what it means. Get in the Bible, start reading it and doing it. And then help yourself learn the Bible by watching my videos. And you can see them on my website, DarylLoss.com. All right, thanks for your prayers and financial support. I do have a donation button on my website. Malachi chapter 3 in the Bible, verses 8 to 12, say that, uh, says, uh, I said it, says, <laughs> that tithing is of God. All right, so don't forget that. I appreciate your prayers and financial support. I'll see you later. Pass the video on to other people. God bless you. I love you. Bye for now.